The Old English Sheepdog is a breed of large dogs that emerged in England from early types of herding dogs. They are the archetypical shaggy dogs, famous for their profuse coat, peekaboo hairdo, and a distinctive bear-like gait. Historically known as the Bobtail or the Shepherd's Dog, the breed came to prominence for many as the Dulux Dog, the brand mascot of Dulux Paint. The Old English was traditionally a drover, helping farmers drive cattle and sheep to the market. Now the breed is essentially a family dog and is famous for its affectionate and playful nature. These dogs have also appeared in many movies and cartoons such as Please Don't Eat the Daisies and Dennis the Menace. Now let's know more about the breed as we start our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Old English Sheepdogs. Number 1. Their History the Old English Sheepdog, like the Bulldog and Collie, stands among the truly iconic dogs of British Isles. However, the breed has one of the canine world's most unclear origins. There is evidence that the breed originated in the southwestern counties of England somewhere in the early 19th century, though it may owe its origins to Scottish bearded Collie or the Russian Otter or some other dog altogether. Old English Sheepdogs became prominent in the late 1880s when a canine was first owned by a Pittsburgh industrialist named W. Wade. By the 1900s, the breed was owned, exhibited, and bred by five wealthy U.S. families. This prompted one show superintendent to advise the judges at the 1904 Westminster Show in New York to take these dogs into consideration as they were owned by some of the leading Americans. Eventually, in 1904, Henry Arthur Tilly founded the Old English Sheepdog Club of America. Tilly and his brother William were pioneers in creating the breed standard and many of the dogs that they bred can still be found in the pedigree lines today. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1885. Number 2. The Story of Their Dog Tail The Old English Sheepdog was famously known as the Bobtail and this nickname is significant in the breed's history. In England in the 18th century, tax exemption was granted to drover dogs, which helped drive the herds to market. Old English sheepdogs were excellent at this job because of their eagerness and weather-resistant coats. Therefore, their tails had to be docked as proof of their occupation. Please remember that tail docking is an illegal activity and puppies should be presented with a full tail. This does create extra work in this breed in order to maintain hygiene under the tail, but docking is a cruel procedure which no puppy should be forced to endure. Number 3. Their name is a misnomer As debated as their history is, their name Old English Sheepdog is incorrectly applied to. As a creature of the late 1700s, the breed is not particularly old by canine standards. By blood, they are not fully English. The possible component breeds include dogs of Scotch, European, and Russian ancestry. And technically, these aren't even sheep dogs. The canines were employed primarily as drovers who moved cattle over dusty country roads from the pasture to town markets. Number 4. Their Physical Appearance The Old English Sheepdog may appear as a large ball of fluff, but a solid dog looks beneath that fluff ball. Their height starts at 22 inches and goes up, and the weight can be up to 90 pounds. These dogs are fairly square, and a shaped Old English shows nice proportions. The top line does tend to slope down from the loin to the withers. Their coat is thick, dense, and profuse. So dogs in show business keep the long, fluffy coat, but many pets are shaved down for ease of care. In color, the breed can be any shade of gray, grizzle, or blue with or without white markings. Additionally, the ears hang down and the eyes are dark and mischievous under the heavy bangs. Keep in mind that these are fairly slow-maturing dogs, who reach adult height by about one year of age but won't fill out totally until they're two or three years old. Number 5. Their Temperament Old English Sheepdogs are even-tempered, good-natured, and adaptable, making them well-suited to all kinds of families and living situations. This one-time working breed does not need a job to feel fulfilled. Rather, these dogs can feel content just lounging around the house, going for walks, or hanging out with their families. It is very rare to see problems with aggression or nervousness in this breed, and thanks to their patient and kind nature, they make great companions for children too. But keep in mind, these are big dogs who when fully grown may weigh as much as 100 pounds, so always supervise the interaction of small children around these giants. Number 6. They have a great sense of humor Many owners describe their Old English as having an almost human sense of humor. The breed is known to have a clownish energy as they derive great enjoyment from causing their owners to worry about them without any reason. These dogs are determined to be the center of attention, and so they'll act like a clown to earn the spotlight in the family. They're also highly excitable when playing and will join in every possible activity with a lot of enthusiasm. Old English Sheepdogs are full of personality and you'll definitely love them for it. Number 7. They are prone to separation anxiety. Separation anxiety is common in Old English Sheepdogs. These dogs thrive in human companionship and so should never be deprived of the company and the warmth of people. 
Otherwise, they'll become agitated and stressed when their family members prepare to leave. They'll even try to make escape attempts, which may become extreme and result in self-injury and household destruction, especially around exit points like windows and doors. This is why if you are out for a long period of time, this breed is not suitable for you. Number 8. Their Exercise and Training Despite the fluffy, cuddly appearance, the breed's coat hides the physique of an athlete. So they need a great deal of exercise, at least 1-2 to two hours per day for both lead walking as well as off-the-lead activities. However, make sure you cut back on outdoor exercise when the weather is hot. Their dense undercoat is extremely warm and the dog can overheat quickly and easily. Proper socialization and obedience training is also a must for Old English sheep dogs. They are large, bouncy and enthusiastic, but when they are young, they can be specially rowdy. You gotta provide them with patient and consistent training. House training an Old English puppy is generally not difficult, although many owners object to the use of crate training as these dogs do not like to be confined. Even if you decide to crate train, make sure you don't leave your pup in the crate for too long. Number 9. They are high maintenance dogs. A common reason that owners of this breed surrender their dogs to rescue organizations is because of the time and cost of caring for the coat. You can't talk about oiling the sheep dogs without talking about their hair, which is a lot. These dogs have hair galore, a profuse, shaggy coat that is neither straight nor curly. This coat needs more care than most. It's long and prone to matting if not regularly brushed. Many owners clip the hair short, but if your old English is to be a show dog, the fur cannot be trimmed short. You can easily expect 3-4 to four hours of grooming per week and perhaps even more. And if you include the monthly visits to a grooming salon, the time and cost is gonna rise immensely. Also, some old English sheep dogs drool so much that the coat around their mouth will turn yellow. So try this breed only if you want a grooming challenge. Number 10. They are a healthy breed. Old English sheep dogs are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to some common health conditions. They could suffer from various hereditary eye disorders such as cataracts and progressive retinal atrophy. These guys are also prone to hip and elbow dysplasia. Obesity can also be another significant health problem in old English sheep dogs. They have a slight tendency to become overweight, so make sure you watch the calories. Also, don't forget to discuss any health problem with your breeder and vet and make sure that you don't miss out on their regular checkups. Alright folks, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the old English sheep dog. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these gentle fur balls, do let us know about them in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts about different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.